Okay, today we're going to explain how to install the Southern Light LED rib nuts while installing your Gen 2 or your original boat light. Um, what the package is going to come with is you're going to have one bolt and rib nut that's going to be assembled like this. This is how you crush your rib nut. We'll show you that later. You're going to come with uh, your four rib nuts, four washers, and bolts. Um, you're going to need a drill bit the same diameter as your rib nut exactly you don't want it too big too big and the rib nut won't work properly so you want to start off small and get bigger to where you can barely hammer these in um, on the gen 2 you're going to need adjustable wrench and uh, open face wrench for the sizes of your bolts bolt and nut uh, in this case we're 11 millimeter on this one um, you go follow your instructions um, that came with it um, it'll also refer to this YouTube video that'll show you how to do it first thing you want to do is make sure your light is as far forward on your boat as you can most possibly get it this is going to help with all the eliminating all the bow deflection this is the light hitting somewhere on your bow which is hurting your night vision while driving. So get it as far forward as you can. Um, then on the originals, the bolt pattern is internally. On the Gen 2, it's on the outside, so it's a little bit easier to mark. But to mark your Gen 1 or original, what you're gonna do is swivel your light up and swivel it all the way back. Like so. Then we're going to take, I cut off a pencil, needle nose. That's going to get under there. Make sure your light's where you want it. And then I'm going to mark the square four holes up under the light. There's two in the back. They're going to be a little bit tricky, but with this, you can get back there and mark them. Okay, once those are marked, ready to drill your holes. Um, what we're gonna do is I recommend drilling one hole here. Um, use a center punch, drill it dead center, and then we're gonna check a rib nut. Okay, we're gonna center punch, center of the holes we marked. That'll keep that bit from walking and getting your bolts off. Okay, you want to be real gentle when drilling. Don't want to waller the hole out any more than you have to. Okay, next what we're going to do is that rib nut is real tight. So we're gonna but all right we got it in there. Don't want to tit too hard. You can run your drill bit down in there a little bit more if you want to. But what we want to do next is you want to make sure your bolts screwed in far enough um, to so you have enough thread bite. Now here's the tricky part. A lot of people want to do this backwards. Um, they want to turn the top with the socket or such and tighten the nut while holding this. It's, it, it's, it's exactly opposite. What we're going to do is we're going to tighten this nut while holding the bolt completely still. What this is going to do is this is pulling the bolt up through there without moving which is pulling the bottom of the bottom of this rib nut, it is squishing it up behind this aluminum. Once it's completely squished, you have permanent threads in your hole that you don't have to worry about them coming out. So
So what we're doing is we're holding the top one while tightening the bottom. Just like that. Now these are cast aluminum um, rib nuts. So you can strip the threads. You don't want to get too heavy on it because once you get it crushed, your bolt itself, when you tighten your light down, is going to hold it crushed. So once you do that, you loosen your bolt and it comes out and there you go. We have a basically a welded or in this case riveted nut in our hole. We're going to repeat the process all four holes and then we'll show you the next step. Okay, one step that gets uh, often overlooked is we supply you with solid stainless steel hardware. Some kind of lubricant, anti-seize or anything um, to keep the stainless from galling. Galling's where the heat of the two stainless parts gets hot and it fuses itself together. So when uh, working these rib nut bolts in and out, you want to make sure you have some kind of good lubricant on it to keep them from seizing together. Screw your next rib nut on. Make sure there's enough threads down there. The threads don't have to come out the bottom. We just make sure you get a good amount. <clears throat> okay, finally set our light up here. Set them over the holes. That looks dead perfect. And then take your bolts. You can put some Loctite on here if you want to. Um, if you don't ever plan on getting it out. Um, screw those down. down um, and as you can see it's not going anywhere <laughs> 